everything's okay. Just saved ourselves. Ellie no killed the guy. Ellie. Yeah, I know she killed a dude. It's pretty awesome. <sighs> Captain. Also, say what you want about these um about the bandits. Oh, hey, fiscal highlights. Huh. They were sure running a business. Yeah, take a look at this. They he used an apostrophe. Don't worry. We take good care he of it. He used her. two periods though. You should use three if you want to trail it off. It's just, you know, more I don't know. It just bothers me if somebody uses like two or four periods if they're trailing off. The whole oh. ellipses <laughs> thing. You have to have three. Three is an ellipsis. Yes. Four is just like sloppy. Punctuation gone yep. mad. Let's do a little bit of a shimmy over here. Wait there, okay? She's pretty, pretty vocal about it. Grab some stuff. Octo Dad, those are some limber hips, I gotta say. Mm hmm. Get down and boogie. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see what this graphic novel's about. Accretion. <gasps> Looks metal That's as hell. Badass cover. Oh, some sort of Wrath of Khan shit, I think. I really don't think that this is going to, to soothe her hurt feelings. <laughs> it's like, listen, Ellie, I know I was an ungrateful some bitch, even though you killed. Here's a graphic novel about life. killing a superior because he's being an asshole, and you have to survive. Also, let's go this way. Don't ask any questions. Don't go getting any ideas. <laughs> or else you're grounded. <laughs> just, just sit still, young lady. Also, look at this. She's just, I like this. She's kind of just sitting over there moping. Harumph. Harumph. <laughs> One other um, uh, minor touch is going to be the left in here. It's like one of those little emergency fire axe sorts of things. There's a brick in there. Hey, brick, what are you doing? Somebody upgraded brick for a hatchet, of all things? What? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. We need to get back out, find that bridge. Tell me where to go. Oh, I hate this crap. Uh... She's just needling now. Hmm. Whoop. That was a weird little spaz. Be being responsible for a minor sure sucks, doesn't it, Joel? Yeah. Oh, let me see. There's always treasure in the can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think that's treasure, man. I think that's... Well, it happened at Silent Hill. Well, there's there's still the ladies' room. I mean, I think we can. It's it's pretty tasteful. We can go in here. Also, this this ladies' room is very nice. Look, it, it has it has a sleeping bag on the ground back there. Also, what's with fireflies dying on the can? It's just what they do. It's where I'd want to die. Like Colby. Mm. Uh, Wait, the power of some men doing in the ladies. <laughs> the power of cheese wasn't strong enough. <laughs> we gotta look. Maybe we gotta look around for Breeze tag now. Oh, oh. She's just hanging out over there. Hmm. You see a bunch of ATMs, or I'm sorry, ATM machines. Right, ATM machines. Yeah. Don't forget, you, you gotta put in your pen number. <laughs> right. Look, I like redundant words. I don't know about you. I like redundant words. I mean, it's my job to be repetitive. Being repetitive is my job. It's my job. <laughs> <laughs> also, upgrade manual. Spec Ops manual. Melee weapons last one hit longer if they're upgraded. With knots. So now, with the power of knots, we have an upgraded weapon can do two one-hit kills. That oh, yeah. is actually kind of badass. It is. It is so good. Even though, like you said, the advice boils down to make sure it's tied on good and tight. Mm. I should actually tie this a little tighter. Also, how are you feeling about a little bit of nostalgia from high school? Because guess what? Guess what? Prom 2013! Prom? Oh man. Oh man. It's all prom. coming back. Prom, wait, prom was terrible. Prom was so stupid. There are totem poles everywhere, too. 
I have prom stories. Oh, look, it's entrapment all upon the moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's some sort of a Hawaiian-themed one. Wow, look at that. That's a, uh, a backdrop. People would take their pictures in front of it. Yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> okay, then. Something on your mind, Ellie? <sighs> I wasn't trying to disobey you back there. You were taking a really long time, and I thought... maybe he's gotten into trouble. It don't matter what you thought. I need you to listen to me. I do. It's just that... <sighs> Whatever, Joel. That was the first time we have a conversation that has multiple prompts. It was kind of interesting. But all this... all this sass from Ellie's probably getting to Joel. I mean, he's just... Getting so tired and grumpy. So grumpy, he's hitting the drink. Okay, he's kicked the drink. And the drink's hitting back. Brick's back. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, now, Joel's still <sighs> going down a little bit of, a little bit of memory lane down here. Uh, it reminds me of the, some art that School Monkey did in the thread, talking about him missing out on his musical career. That door looks like a way out. Hey, you see a way to get up there? Nope. Well... She's not going to be helpful. Let's let's try out our musical career. All right, drum solo. Now, it is time that we finish that. It's time for Joel to be the piano man. I'm not going to get there with this. How about a hand? You sure you can trust me with that? Ellie. <laughs> Push! I am! Push harder! There, how's that? Let's go. Joe, you're so prideful. You could have died, man. Do you recognize that? Sigh. Well, We're gonna get well, prom, take care. You were probably terrible anyway, because Joel wasn't there to bless you with his magical mastery. And we're gonna slow things down today for the class of 2013, so find that special someone and let's slow dance to the sounds of... Shit, what do kids listen to nowadays? Uh, T-Pain. <laughs> T-Pain. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of Pitbull, I don't know. Yeah, there we go. That shit's are manical. Oh. Dale indeed, ladies. Dale indeed. Uh huh. God, he is just the worst. <laughs> Joel or Pitbull? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody sucks. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, like your opinion, man. <laughs> you, you know, you can't spell Solomon Grumpy without Solo. How he, how he rolls. Jump down there and I'm gonna clear us a path. What about me? You stay here. This is so stupid. We'd have more of a fucking chance if you let me help. I am. You seem to know your way around a gun. You reckon you can handle that? Well, I sort of shot a rifle before. But it was at rats. Rats? With BBs. Well, it's the same basic concept. Lift it up. All right, now, you're going to lean right into that stock because it is going to kick a hell of a lot more than any baby rifle. Okay. Uh, go and pull the bolt back. Grab it right there. Just tug it. Here you go. And as soon as you fire, you're going to want to get another round in there quick. Listen to me. If I get into trouble down there, you make every shot count. Yeah? I got this. All right. Now 
And just so we're clear about back there, it was either him or me. You're welcome. Hey, as all should have known, but if you're going to steal, then you better make sure you get away with it. Right? I would have done. They're all dead! They're all fucking dead! What the hell's he yapping about? Take a breath! Who's dead? The whole crew. The 76 lookout guy. Some fucking tourist killed him. Kill all of them! Shit. Did you talk to the boss? Yeah. He wants everyone to hold their ground. Watch the gate. All right, you heard him. Search the area. Do not let anybody through. What the hell was that? You're dead, asshole! There's a dude using like the top of a roof over there for sniping. I should have shot him way sooner. Because throughout most of this, he's kind of pinning me down. So, um, the checkpoint puts me actually right in the middle of the fight, but the enemies forgot where I was, so this is like 10 seconds, essentially, back in time, except now they don't know where I am. So, just just because of how they dropped the checkpoint, there's a real, no real way around it, so it's kind of like, well, it looks clumsy, but there you go. C can I also just say, holy Texas barbecue? That was surprisingly detailed. Oh yeah, so I left oh, a bomb out there because there is an enemy out there I want to lure toward it. Gonna have a bit of a jump cut because I weighed him out. It was a Molotov guy. Beautiful. Fuck those dudes. You see a red yep. shirt? Kill them. Motherfucker! Ah! <laughs> 
All right, come on down. I do. About something uh, a little more your size. It's for emergencies only. Okay. Now, the safety zone, uh, do, you, do you know how to switch it off? I do. Okay, you just, you gotta respect it. This is not a... Joel, well, be careful. Okay. She's a combat pet. Also, also, you remember how we put the, how put the rifle back down in the cutscene? Free ammo. I like that attention to detail. Waste not, want not. Mm-hmm. And we're still kind of low on some things, but, you know, like I said, the main thing I like is I like having the, um, uh, you know, the actual stuff you craft on hand. I mean, if I'm low on ammo, whatever, but if I have molotovs and explosives, then, you know, I can make things work. Also, thief. Oh, Nelly. Harsh punishment. See, it ain't that much different than what the military does back in Boston. I guess not. Well, so, I'll poke around a bit here. There's, in spite of how big the area is, there's really not too much that we can loot. Main things being uh, this coffee shop here. Don't really have much. We kind of got what we, uh, I think we pretty much looted it clean in our first pass through. A little bit of alcohol there. What's alcohol doing in a coffee shop? Huh. Sometimes you need a little little pick me up. I guess. We're gonna pass through. Uh, let me see here. This is oh, it's kind of like a sandwich shop. The logo kind of yeah. reminds me of Burger King, though. I think. I don't know. Or or perhaps a. Uh... It's a Don Fiocchi subs. Oh, it's a sub shop. Mm -hmm. You think it? Do you think it fits the? Do uh, you think it's okay, or you think it's substandard? Look, man, the uh, the dudes behind the counter at Don Fiocchi are artists, okay? <laughs> Saying, oh, they're also torturers? Yep, this is a corpse, and this Firefly note is something that we pretty much figured. It's sort of like, well, the Fireflies say to rise up and stuff, but there's not really <clears throat> much of a plan. It's sort of like, okay, if we rise up and we take this place over, what now? And they're like, oh, well, you take orders from a Firefly leader of sorts, and this note's kind of like, I don't like that idea. That's BS. It's like, okay, so we beat back the Combine equivalent. What do you want us to do? Float around until we get some orders passed along by somebody on the other side of the U.S.? I don't think so. What about so, I kind of like this because the game doesn't really step back and say, hey, this side is perfect and the other guys are all assholes. It's like all of the solutions are terrible. Like, you know, if you side with the Combine equivalent, you know, just the military, then things eventually become this. If you side with the Fireflies, chances are you're going to be part of the Uprising. And if you go Bandit, you're just an all-out asshole. Also, I really wanted to see if I could break more things. I was thinking about that rock and drum solo. Oh, sure. You try and break the vase, but you wouldn't smash the gnome. That, 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 would, that would lead to a curse. Do you want to be cursed by a gnome? I... Do you know what's oh, yeah. involved in a gnomish curse? Because Those I don't magic? either. It sounds horrifying. <laughs> let's never so let's never speak of this again. <laughs> and he's just like, "How's it going? I'm going to be late with the rent." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a pox on your firstborn. Oh. A little shanty town here. Eh, nothing. Nothing really to loot though, aside from the from the gears. Mm -hmm. Perhaps gnomes live there. Oh, we better leave them alone. Hey, 
Alright, do your thing, Ellie. On it. Uh, stupid chain is stuck. Uh, Hold on. I am. There. It's uh, good thinking. And the way we want to go is over there with the yellow tape, as you can see. I see um, that you've learned your lesson trying or not trying to read rags anymore. For now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> it's mostly because I read ahead and I knew that it wasn't a note. I know where the next <laughs> note is right now. I am way ahead of getting you up there. That's what I think is funny. She said, "How about you get me up there?" And you sort of into you sort of think to yourself, "Well, that means I should boost her up." But no, that means you go over and grab this cart. Help me open this. Looks like she was she lifted that up and Joel was having problems with it. These people She's gonna give herself a hernia. This is this is like pioneer stock equivalent of toughness. Ah. And we got a workbench, but we really don't it, it we we it was not too long ago that we had a workbench, so we really don't have enough stuff to upgrade anything, so I pretty much back right out of it after a few moments of lolling around. Oh shit, get down, get down. Busy couple of days, huh? <sighs> Whatever, man. Damn, no food, no pair of shoes. <sighs> we got nothing. Let's go. Just the normal puppy server. No role play. <laughs> shit's weird. Joel had shit's, a nice shit's just social weird. guild. <laughs> just ran some dungeons. I, I bet Joel Pokemon played down. a gnome. <laughs> Probably. It was all about those gnomish curses. <laughs> well, at least they finally killed that couple. I was sure they made it out of the city. There better have been an army in that truck. How the fuck did they wipe out the entire crew over there? reason why I got the jump on that guy is because if you sit in the stairway, they basically come right after you. Like, I, probably if I stayed in the stairway, I would have been in a really shitty place to fight them, and they would have basically trapped me right in there. But, well, there's that. <laughs> Joel's not looking so good. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of toying with the thought of using a med kit, but I back out of it. Because I'm kind of like, well, I might be able to find some peaches, you know, get get, get a little bit of fructose in my system. A little pick-me-up. Mm. A final attack note. Hmm. Oh, and this is them talking about forcing the uh, police dudes out. Start a new life for ourselves. And that life has gone so well, hasn't it, guys? Oh, right, I killed you. Snack bar. Uh, I kill me. And, like, a lot of people. 